to go to a black tie affair in Hollywood. Yes, don't we look very old Hollywood? Slay! Mm -hmm. Like glamour girls. So a little commotion cute. for the dress. So y'all, first and foremost, let's get into this beat. Okay, get a little closer, sick. Come on, and show the girlies your look. Oh, I have to show. <gasps> y'all. Stunning. Nice. Didn't I look like, see you in a movie? <laughs> You're a movie star. You're a star. You're <laughs> famous. Oh my God. I want to be like Sydney. She's so famous. Oh my gosh. Y'all. The beat tonight. So, oh, it eats down. Y'all. Oh, and we did our own hair, y'all. Oh my God. So cute. I feel like a little peacock, but a pretty peacock. A really cute. Fancy. Classy. Glamour girl. Glamour yeah. peacock. Okay, y'all, we're gonna stop being silly. But no, for real, we just wanted to show y'all our looks. We look so amazing, so beautiful. These dresses are sponsored by Fashion Nova. Thank you, Fashion Nova, for sending us these beautiful gowns gorgeous. to wear to the Black Tie Affair. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Y'all, shop Fashion Nova. We're gonna link the dresses for y'all. Make sure y'all get these dresses. Like, so gorgeous. Cute. And when we get to the venue, we'll give y'all a little bit more outfit cam. Um, but as of right now, we just wanted to come on and introduce ourselves to you for our new subscribers. Hi. And for those of you that are not already subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button right now, not later. Don't wait. Okay. So this weekend we have NAACP awards. So y'all, LA, the city is lit. I know we said that in the last vlog because it was Oscars weekend, but y'all, no. Seriously, the city's lit, okay? The baddies are outside. The celebrities, us, are outside. Wait, city, let me tell them something because if you watched the last episode, the way we ended the last episode, I had on the same dress. Did you really? Yes, because we were, okay, if you saw the last episode, you know, I had the same dress and the same hairstyle, but I promise y'all that was last week. I just put on the same dress and did the same hairstyle and did the same makeup. Because remember we thought we were going to the Gucci party, but then they called us and said, y'all don't have to oh, go. Oh, I didn't know you filmed that. Yes, <laughs> I did. So Sydney and I were supposed to go to this Gucci party. It was like a ball, like a Gucci ball that, that Gucci was like hosting in Beverly Hills. And oh. I was going to wear this dress. It was for an Oscars weekend and I was filming in the bathroom and I was showing y'all how I did my hair. I was showing y'all my makeup. I can't remember what I was Showing. but yeah that's in the episode we haven't edited that episode yet but we're gonna add that in here look we might edit my sis out i don't know <laughs> so no, so okay. if we do add that in there just know that that was not the same night i just redid the same hairstyle it might look a little different and just put on the same dress okay because we gotta repurpose these outfits hello. around here. hello the way we keep going out the way we keep networking the way we have to attend events i'm running out of look so yeah, if we wore the outfits a couple weeks ago, it don't matter. We're going to repurpose it, redress it up, and re-step out with it, okay? okay. <laughs> and y'all should understand, as long as it's not posted on Instagram, who cares? Because I know I don't care. And if I want to post it twice on Instagram, who made the rule? Who is the Instagram police? police. I would like so, to know. So anyway, I just have to tell y'all that, that this was the same outfit and the same hair, but I promise you it's not the same night. That was last week and we ended up not going to that event. But anyway. tonight should be fun. We are getting ready to go. Like Paris said, we are getting ready to head to a black tie affair. I can't wait to see everyone's looks. And tonight, y'all, I'm just so excited to be going to the Black Tie Affair in Hollywood. It's just a great opportunity for us to network and meet plenty of people in the film and entertainment industry. So, so excited. Because that's where we belong. We're, We're on the TV screen. Right here on your TV we screen. on your TV screen. We on our TV screen. <laughs> Baby, we just think we movie stars in our heads. But hey, <laughs> like Paris always say, sometimes you got to be a little delusional. delusional. Baby, delusion has gotten me so far in life. Delusion is just another form of manifestation, okay? Mm. And remember that. Don't forget the cow sisters told you. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And show us some love. And join the community sisters because we love the sisters that we already have, but we are very inviting to more sisters and more support on our channel. So thank y'all so much in advance and we love y'all. All right, let's get into this week's episode. Mm -hmm. 
extremely tired but we had so much fun we looked great the party was really cute it was at this hollywood club called warwick um really popping spot mm -hmm. the vibes were good it was cute mm -hmm. yeah i looks eight down mm -hmm. like so cute hair makeup dresses oh yeah let me show y'all my new shoes yeah these simmy sent me these shoes i don't know if i can see it these shoes made me feel like such a little princess. Baby, y'all can't tell me that I wasn't uh, Princess Diana in my little glass slippers, honey. But these were so cute. They got a little uncomfortable at the end of the night, but I lasted pretty long in them. Really, really sexy shoes. So thank you, Simi. I loved, loved, loved my shoes. My feet hurt though. I'm about to go soak them, y'all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whenever your feet hurt, y'all, Make sure you soak them in warm water and then massage them with like an oil or a, a lotion or a body butter. Take mm -hmm. care of your feet. The way we wear heels all the time? Girls. The girls know. The girls know. Tomorrow we are, um, what is our on our agenda tomorrow? We have two major events. We have an event with Rolls Royce tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. um, and then right after that we have a red carpet interviews for the NAACP awards. Your girls been working. Yeah. Now we got an event in the morning with Rolls Royce, baby. Baby, they might give us a Rolls Royce. What? So we gonna go ahead and manifest it cause we what? Delusional. We delusional, delusional. babes. I'm about to be driving a Rolls Royce right, for driving. free because they gifted it to me because that's how much they love me. <laughs> yeah, she real delusional. <laughs> And I'm My girl said she gonna get gifted a Rolls Royce, honey. Gifted, not not me paying. My heart earned coins. She's gonna be gifted. Gifted because my heart earned coins deserve that as a gift. That makes sense. No, but y'all heard her. Y'all heard it here. My girl is going to be gifted a went by Wednesday. I say. Around this time next year. Around this time next year, my girl gonna be gifted a Rolls Royce. I might have a Rolls Royce. I don't know if it's gonna be gifted, but I might have the money to buy one. Hmm. Y'all just gotta be a little delusional sometimes. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, we saying that jokingly, but like we did it. Like sometimes you really just have to talk your shit, and you really just have to manifest everything that you want in life. So anything that you say out of your mouth, it might seem like a little unrealistic to other people. Maybe mm -hmm. everything that was a little unrealistic, we have been achieving it. So. It might be unrealistic to them, but to you, baby, you could do all things. Nothing. Hmm. Unrealistic. A lot too unrealistic. Nothing impossible, baby. Whatever you just gotta you believe in yourself. Here we are, believing in ourselves, and we are literally doing everything we want to do. Baby, catch the episode. Baby, start from episode one. If you're not starting from episode one, 
We even put it in episodes for you so y'all didn't have to go watch all that other all those other videos. Can't okay, worry about that. We're not That's even those old. women no more. <laughs> we're not even those girls anymore, okay? We have figured this out and we came strong. We came hard. We fell a little behind on our content. But it's okay. Y'all watch your videos a few weeks late, but it's okay. You know what I'm saying? We're picking back up. And we are just really excited to continue showing you this journey. Tomorrow's a really busy day for us. And we have to get some rest because we have two events. And we got to make sure we come with our A game. Mm -hmm. We got to look the part. We got to mm -hmm. just... And we are a little tired because it is kind of late. We'll check in with y'all in the morning. All right, sister. Sleep well. Yes. Okay. Make sure y'all wipe y'all makeup off like, every night. Yeah, makeup off and brush your teeth. <laughs> Please floss, baby. I floss every night. Now, see? I don't know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yes, floss shots. He brush shots. He scrape shots. Hug. <laughs> she delusional, y'all. We gotta get off. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Good Bye. night. Bye. <laughs> Morning sisters. Happy NAACP award ceremony day. I think that's what you call it. Is that what it is? Yeah, that's going on tonight. And Sydney and I are getting red carpet ready. As you can see, I mean, I tried to do a little updo. I don't know what I was doing, but right now we are just, we are our own hairstylists, our own makeup artists, our own stylists. Sometimes we are on photographer, y'all. Like, we have to make it work. Sid is over here eating. Guys, Paris was not trying to cook for me. Y'all, first off, I cook for Sydney almost every day. Literally every day. Paris was not trying to cook for me, right? I said, Paris, we have to have some food before we get on the red carpet. Because what if we're, like, doing an interview and our stomach is growling? So, I had to cook. I ended up cooking us some... Um, baked potatoes i just put some baked potatoes in the oven and i like grilled some chicken and made a white cream sauce so i have like a stuffed chicken baked potato stuffed chicken stuffed baked potato girl i don't know but it's good okay <laughs> yeah i'm about to eat mm. and she don't come on because we gotta go we do have to go but y'all let me show y'all real quick what my sister did i'm so proud of her because y'all my sister been learning how to cook Cause I'm usually the one that cook, but she's been learning and she's been doing such a good job. So let's see what she whipped up. It's giving baked potatoes with a little chicken and cream sauce and spinach. Okay. Okay, sis, she did her thing. So y'all, anyways, I'm about to eat. I'm gonna show y'all my final look. I'm gonna go finish putting a few more curls in my hair and finish my makeup because I need to put on my lip. I need to put on my jewelry. And yeah, I gotta put on my gown. I'm so excited. I think my look is gonna come together so lovely. Cannot wait to show y'all. And yeah, Sid went to the showroom yesterday to pick out her gown. And I think it is so cute. So I'm so excited to see how our looks come together on the carpet. And we'll see y'all when we get there. Just wanted to check in really quickly. Bye, see ya. Look who's dressed. We are ready. Our looks came together so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Paris's dress, like she said, is from Fashion Nova. Um, I believe you tried her on in the Fashion Nova haul that we did. I did. And she looks stunning. Thank I love you. the pearls. Thank really, you. really, really cute. She's a classy girl. She's a classy girl. And guys, I went to a showroom yesterday to pick out this dress because I had absolutely nothing. <laughs> and the showroom that we went to had no gowns and luckily I found this mm -hmm. gown. And it's so perfect. It's perfect and it fits like a glove. I can't wait to give y'all full body cam when we get to the actual uh, carpet. Mm -hmm. Y'all, mm -hmm. the looks came together. They did. The hair, the makeup. Mm -hmm. You know, so say we do all of this by ourselves. Mm -hmm. Look at the details. We do a really good job. Show them the details of your dress. Match perfectly together. Yes, my dress is a little more mauve. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, and she's more like champagne. Mm -hmm. and it's just perfect. perfect. So, so we're getting ready to head out because you know you girls like to run a little late. We're waiting on the car. It should be here in about two minutes. So we're about to grab our things and we're gonna jet because we have to get some content. <laughs> Carpet. Yes. Yeah, so, see y'all in a little bit. On the way. Safety first. I don't know where Paris' seatbelt is. <laughs> we're we're like, so excited. Just trying to wear me. Yeah, we just got it for her. Look at the tomorrow. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I forgot to put on my seatbelt. We are about nine minutes away, so not far. How do you feel? Beautiful. I feel like a princess. <laughs> okay, well. Please. 
we will stuck in a talk. We will see y'all shortly. Any last words? I just want to thank my mom for having me. My, my dad for having me, for believing in me. I want to thank my friends and my family for loving me. I want to thank you guys for supporting us because this is just the very, okay, I'm gonna be for real. <laughs> this is just the beginning, so for real, y'all. We just want to thank y'all for supporting us in our career and our journey. Yeah, it's just only up from here. This is the only way we're going. It's up. up. <laughs> we'll see y'all at the top. Pretty soon, we're gonna be getting honored and getting our awards, right? Absolutely. Just wait on it, but don't wait too long, because you might miss it. <laughs> so y'all gonna hop on this journey right now. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't wait till it's too late. Hmm. She always says that. She be eating y'all up, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> because I feel like some of y'all be watching the videos, but y'all just look yeah, quiet. Y'all make some quiet. noise, y'all. <laughs> No, I always say that, and I'm gonna keep saying it. I'm gonna keep saying it, y'all, because we really want you guys to experience this journey with us right now because we just want y'all to see what it's like to get it out the mud before we have the big stylists and the hairstylists and the big team and everything. Like, we want to encourage y'all, whatever it is that y'all want to do right now in life, like, start small. Start small. And it's okay. You might not have everything yeah. you want right now, but I promise you, you have everything that you need. You have just enough. You to have get just started. enough. So start somewhere, start now, start today. Because if we can go back in time, <laughs> we would have believed in ourselves a little sooner. And it wasn't that we didn't believe in ourselves. We just, I, I didn't know what consistency was. Yeah, we always talk about our past and our mistakes and our, and our, <laughs> like, okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry. But no, we always talk about things that we could have done better, things where we went wrong, things that we wish we knew sooner. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's all a part of the process, it's all a part of the journey, and we're just taking all these lessons in and doing better, okay? When you know better, you do better. And here we are, doing our big one. Yes, oh, we're doing our big one. Wow, your boobs. Oh, they're sitting amazing. amazing. Thanks. And this body butter that I put on, Ugh, glowing. Body butter, Baby, you can't see your body. <laughs> you can't see that anything but my toes and my fingers. But yeah, we're not gonna ramble too much longer. We just wanted to show y'all the look and tell y'all that we're on the way and to encourage you guys to start now whatever it whatever is it that is. you're doing. You don't I'm have to sure. be in LA trying to be a superstar. You don't have to do that. <laughs> you don't but whatever that. it is that you want to do, do, do it. it. And let us know in the comments what that is. Yes. I'm excited to see what some of our supporters have coming in 2024 so yeah all right see y'all on the carpet we love you guys love you The show is starting, but we saw some of our favorites, y'all. We are so excited and happy to be here. All right, let's go finish up our pictures and go yes, watch the show. We're trying our best to hurry up and get our pictures. It was crazy trying to get on the carpet. This was very interesting experience, but we got y'all when we get home. We're going to tell y'all how everything was, but yes.
one of the top 10 most award-winning musicians of all time. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Enjoy my CDs. Enjoy me as an artist. Thank you, guys. It's not a hand-me-out. It's an opportunity. And if I'm recognized for that tonight, then that is God's plan. That is the legacy that I would prefer to be recognized for more than anything that I could do. Thank you to a certain audience in Las Vegas, 100 shows. I played the Super Bowl and had the highest numbers of all time. And nothing is more gratifying than being able to stand on this stage here tonight with you and celebrate. Thank you guys so much. NAACP, our first award show of the year. Yeah. What? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> oh. I just, <laughs> yeah, I just be watching my sister talk. I was like, what? She was supposed to Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Girl, what? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Nothing. I was just listening. <laughs> I was so confused. 
y'all that was our first award show of the year and it was so much fun like even the experience of like getting dressed getting up early of <laughs> course we do our own hair and makeup and we style ourselves for now but it was just a really good experience like i had such a good time we also did golden globes weekend grammys weekend mm -hmm. and oscars weekend mm -hmm. um for award season but we haven't actually attended the award right. show so NAACP was our very first award show that we got to see live. We were just like, oh my gosh. I would say it was very inspiring. For one, because the NAACP is for the National Association Advancement of Color People. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> yes. But yeah, so just to see a lot of people who look like us all in one building celebrating their accomplishments and their achievements of the year in the film um, and entertainment industry was amazing. Y'all, we saw, did you already say we saw Usher, mm -mm. Oprah, the, the whole, whole cast, cast of the Color Purple. Purple. Y'all, they won. I can't remember exactly what the award was that they won. But yes, they won maybe best film or best, you know, it was it was something like that. I'm sorry, I can't remember y'all, but they won. So it was so inspired to see Fantasia. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, her speech kind of mm -hmm. had me crying because mm -hmm. she's just so authentic. Mm -hmm. And I love that about mm -hmm. Fantasia. And Taraji came on stage and had to present right after Fantasia had given her speech. And you could tell she was in the back crying. Did you notice that? Yes, 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 I did. I actually did. I thought it was just me. Mm -hmm. But yeah, she was like, she had to come on right after the speech and she had to present, but you could like see she the tears. tears. Yeah. Yes. I, was I was wondering like, where that came from, but that makes sense. Yes. It was right after Fantasia. She you was know, in she the back crying. Fantasia. <laughs> yeah. She was crying. I was like, oh, oh so okay. sweet. That makes sense. I'm like, why is Taraji crying. Because <laughs> yeah, Fantasia had just given her speech. And Fantasia's speech was so touching too because she was like, I could just see the inner child in her. Mm -hmm. She was just like, yeah, she was so like, yeah, I just, I didn't, I didn't think, think I was, was going to win. win. And she was like, I didn't even have a speech prepared because I really didn't think I was going to win. And yeah. she, and then she even said like, this award, like I appreciate it, but it doesn't make me or something like define that she said, who define who I am or my career. Mm -hmm. And I think that's very important mm -hmm. for people, especially black and brown people in the entertainment and film industry to understand like a lot of times they're slighted. We're slighted because you know, we're in the industry too. So a lot of times, you know, you may be slighted, but these awards do not make you because what you have accomplished is enough. So More whether someone enough. is awarding you or not, Baby, you are here. You are in the room. You have the accomplishments. We saw little Seely from The Color Purple. Oh. And we always make, this is our second time seeing her. And we mm -hmm. always make sure we show her a lot of love. Because like Paris was saying, we want you to know, regardless of the awards, regardless of whatever it is, you're in this room because mm -hmm. you did that. You accomplished things that you didn't even know the inner child in you could ever accomplish you yes, know yes. so we just want to make sure we acknowledge and just show love to all the nominees entertainers actors actresses that was out there tonight y'all did that and y'all usher he was nominated for so many awards can't remember exactly how many he was nominated for but he won three awards tonight and one of them that stuck out to me the most was entertainer of the year okay. and y'all know usher has been on his A game this year. He like, really has. What? A hundred. He said a hundred sold out shows in Vegas. Mm -hmm. His residency in Paris. Super Bowl. My boy said, I don't know any other artist that did as much as I did this I year. Was so I was so happy when he, when he talked his shh. Yes. I was so happy because a lot of people don't do that. And it's very important that you show up for yourself. You make some noise for yourself. Because what the... What the, make some noise y'all, what, what the, the fuck? <laughs> so like when Usher did that, I'm like, yeah, you right. You right, you deserve this award. Like I love my Beyonce, don't get me wrong. I love me some B. B's Renaissance World Tour this summer was amazing. Mm -hmm. It was phenomenal. But Usher deserved that award. Usher been putting in the work, okay? Mm -hmm. Not saying that B did. Yeah, Beyonce did, but Beyonce wasn't even nominated for that, was she? She wasn't, but I'm just saying, entertain oh. maybe she was. Mm -mm. Beyonce wasn't awarded. She wasn't. But yeah. I'm just saying, entertainment of the entertainer of the year, I'll give it to Usher. He worked his butt off this year. He did. I'm so hmm. proud of you, Usher. I was like, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure y'all saw it. I'm sure we put the clips in already from the award show. But y'all, not us at our first award show. Stepping and I killing it, y'all. We was on the carpet. First, let's talk about that real quick. We got thrown into the carpet. Like, I don't even think we got good content. Like, Not whatever y'all saw is what we had. I'm so sorry. Because y'all know we try to capture all the moments. 
Y'all, it wasn't enough. It was, it was chaotic. Y'all know our people be doing stuff, however they be doing stuff, y'all. That's all I'm gonna say. But it was such a beautiful <laughs> event. But God, it was dang. gorgeous. It was, it was so nice. It was. It was nice. And it was but, so good being in the building, like Sydney said. It was so inspirational. But like with the carpet and the whole situation, it was just like a lot of. I'm just like there was a lot of stuff going on. But importantly, we're just happy to be here. Yes. We are happy to be here in Los Angeles, chasing our dreams and with a team that understands us and is doing everything to stand by us and make sure that we accomplish all of our goals. Speaking of goals, as of lately, since Paris and I have been in these settings and in these rooms, and um, this is the award season right now in LA. So just being a part of award season, we have been inspired to do more hosting red carpets, um, being presenters on stage to hand out the awards. And I'm like, how cool would that be? Even with um, getting back into acting, if you're OG sister, you know, Paris and I did acting classes and we really wanted to pursue a career in acting. Paris for sure. And then I kind of, you know, just follow suit. But my sister was like, oh, that's actually kind of cool. That's cool. Let's okay, do it. I'll take acting classes with you. And then she took it and she actually did <laughs> really like well. It. Yeah. And it goes really hand in hand with modeling. So it, mm, it, it worked. But yeah, so now that we're back out here and in these spaces, we want to take that opportunity for everything that it's worth. And we're in these spaces anyway. We might as well come with that resume behind us, you know? Mm -hmm. so, so I have to check off every box. Like, I'm not leaving no coins on the table. Maybe in our next video or the video after we plan to do a Q&A or a sit down and talk yeah. to you guys about like what some of our goals are so that y'all can get to know us better and y'all can this journey. Yeah, this journey, journey we keep about. telling y'all like thank y'all for joining this journey. Like we want y'all to know exactly what, what that journey is. is. And yeah. at least we'll tell y'all as much as we can tell y'all. Mm -hmm. And so I'm excited about that. Like, you know, and honestly, we appreciate y'all's support because y'all supporting us is going to help us along the journey. Mm -hmm. Also too, like y'all know right now, Content creators and influencers are killing the game. Killing. I know y'all saw Monet and some other influencers, but Monet is the one that I know the most. She's the one that I follow. Monet was invited to the Oscars. How crazy is that? Mm -hmm. Name a time in history when influencers or social media content creators were invited to things like the Oscars or Grammys mm -hmm. and stuff. So things are changing, y'all. Times are changing. So we just try to make sure that we don't leave any opportunities on the table and we just keep pushing and do everything. 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 So if y'all want to know what we do, everything. <laughs> so now it's the end of the night and we are preparing for bed. My sister did not feed me today. I told y'all earlier she didn't cook for me. She didn't make me breakfast. She didn't make me lunch. So I said, no sis, you got to make me dinner. So now she's on cooking duty tonight. Um, you want to tell them what you're making for me? Y'all, I'm making Sydney's favorite meal. It ain't nothing special. <laughs> she has two favorite meals, <laughs> but this one in particular, y'all, she loves me to make her Chick-fil-A nuggets. Mm -hmm. She makes the best <laughs> Chick-fil-A nuggets. I swear, you would never know the difference. They do taste just like Chick-fil-A nuggets, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't even tell y'all where I came up with the recipe or how, but we just love Chick-fil-A so much. Is that Chick-fil-A? <laughs> <laughs> she means Chick-fil-A. <laughs> she just loves Chick-fil-A so much. Ooh, okay. I didn't mean to say Chick-fil-A. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm a little country. Y'all know that. <laughs> I just never heard you say Chick-fil-A. It was an accident, y'all. I didn't mean to. But y'all, I'm sorry. Okay, we love Chick-fil-A so much that... <laughs> Stop. And tomorrow Sunday. So I was like, no, I need this meal. I can't have it tomorrow. Like, I need it now. We eat Chick-fil-A. Like, <laughs> shit, that would be, be a silly. But no, we eat Chick-fil-A at least once or twice a week. I know that's bad. And we shouldn't. But I mean, and to be fair, that's the only like fast food mm -hmm. we really eat. We don't eat I McDonald's, Jack in the Box, KFC. You know, we don't eat all that stuff. Uh, but we love Chick-fil-A. So anyways, y'all, we about to get into this kitchen. Well, I'm going to get into the kitchen. Sydney going to just sit and talk. Sit and talk. She going to sit and talk. But I'm about to make some good old Chick-fil-A nuggets. nuggets. And, and she going to pop them fries in the air fry. Yes. Mm -hmm. Only thing is right now, we don't have the waffle fries so we just have to use the crinkle ones that we have but we just pop them in an air fryer they come out 
Real good. Amazing. And we also don't have the sauces because we're out. Last time we went to Chick-fil-A, I was like, Sydney, don't forget that we have to get extra sauces so we could bring them home and eat them when we make our own Chick-fil-A nuggies. Mm -hmm. And we totally forgot to get the sauces. Yeah. So we just gonna have to use ketchup and uh, barbecue sauce. Yeah, we have barbecue sauce inside. So we'll just use some barbecue sauce and ketchup. And I'm gonna put a little mustard inside my barbecue sauce and make a little honey mustard. And we got honey. So Ooh. we are resourceful women. You know, so, so let's get into this good old clean. And by the way, I just had to go ahead and shout out our pajama line, y'all. Those of you who know, y'all know you. we own a pajama line. I'm wearing champagne. And I'm wearing the custom chocolate color that we... What, what was that? Custom. Custom. Customized. And so this one, we customized. We mixed a few and we had a few sample pieces come in. And for whatever reason, we just love we loved it. this color. And we don't have very many of this color left. Yeah, pajamas, they flow. They, y'all. So sexy. And so we're going to put a call right here. For those of you who would like to purchase some, we're going to put a really nice call here. Because y'all, I know we're a little early, but Mother's Day is coming up. Mm -hmm. You can get one for you and get one for your mama. And y'all can match. And mm -hmm. I think it's going to be so cute. Each pajama set comes gift wrapped. So pretty. And it's gonna come with the matching bonnet, eye mask, head scarf, and you can put all of that in a little dust bag that we have. And slippers. And slippers. You know what I'm saying? We might actually throw in another little coat. We might actually throw some slippers in. If you see this video, let us know. We're gonna throw some slippers in. We're gonna actually too. throw a free pair of slippers in. So you know what? We're gonna put another coat. <laughs> we just go. Cause that's how much we love y'all. That's how much we love y'all. So only if you've seen this video though, we're not putting that on the, on the website, but if right. you saw this video, use the codes, um, mommy and me pajama says, so you can get one from your home girl, whatever. But yeah, super excited. But yeah, we love them. Anyways, y'all, we're going to stop talking cause we are hungry. I know sis is hungry. Stomach is growling y'all like yeah. what? And I'll show y'all a little bit on how I make, well not a little bit, I'll show y'all how I do my infamous Chick-fil-A nuggets. nuggets. My girl said the other day when she made me this meal, she said, girl, this ain't no eight piece. This is a 20 piece. Oh, yeah. And I do 20 piece. I don't do no eight oh, count or no 12 God. count. But we be 20 and 20. I be making 40 nuggies and we eat them all. Okay, so let's get into it so we can head to bed because we have a long day tomorrow. I know. We just up chit chatting like we don't have another event tomorrow. We will talk about that in the morning. Yeah. We just know it's a brunch, so we got to get up early. We do. We have to be up very early, y'all. We're about to go have our dinner. Then we're going to chit chat and we're going to get some sleep. Bye, girlies. We'll talk to y'all in the morning. Bye. Tell me how to sing love. It was about five minutes ago. When I seen a how to chick that a young and never seen before. I say, no. Tell the girl I'm gonna beat up. On second time, that ain't the way to go. I gotta give a game proper. Spit it so she get it. There she is. I gotta stop her. Or should I talk about a smile? Or what about a smile? I'm out of time. She's out the door, I gotta go for mine Or should I talk about a smile? Or what about a smile? I'm out of time She's out the door, I gotta go for mine Cause I don't see you So they grab hold of my hand And let's pretend the flow was ours They say you don't really dance But if you just want to stop Now with the music is moving too fast Now I need a little tiger Don't be afraid to move a little closer Girl, there's something about you that makes me wanna say oh. And I gotta admit that you got my attention You're making me wanna say Oh, you're trying to
so she get it, there she is, I gotta stop her. Oh yeah, you tryna leave her. Oh. I would love to keep you here with me, you baby. Everybody just clap your hands like this. Just clap your hands. Good morning, sisters. It is Sunday. I hope you girlies had your Sunday reset. Did your Sunday praise and worship. Did your devotionals. Did your skincare. Made you your breakfast. And had a cup of coffee or tea. Whatever your preference is. And had a lovely start to your day. Me and Paris didn't get to do all of that. But hey, we're here. Now we're getting ready to attend the Young, Black, Talented, and Gifted Brunch hosted by NAACP. It's hosted at the JW Marriott, which is a beautiful hotel downtown. I'm so excited to go mix and mingle with other young, Black, Hollywood stars <laughs> like myself. And yeah, it's going to be a great day. It is the end of NAACP weekend, and this weekend has been nothing but positivity and greatness. <laughs> so I know this brunch won't let us down. But yeah, so we're just doing our makeup. I want to come on here and show y'all real quick because y'all lately, I'm not going to lie. I know we keep saying this, but lately our makeup has been top tier. And when I say top tier, I mean like, you know, Paris and I, we just be moving. We be moving. So the fact that our makeup stays intact all day, like we barely need to freshen up or touch up or whatever. I think it's this, y'all. Not going to hold you. Y'all, this stuff right here is like amazing. I got the color 220. It's a really light press powder. This is the dupe for the banana press powder that Huda Beauty has. I said, you know what? I think they sell their press powder for about $30, $33, something like that. Guess how much I got this for? I believe it's $6 at the drugstore. But y'all, this I got on Amazon for $3. Dollars. I don't know if they were having a sale. I don't know if I used a coupon code. I don't know what the deal was, but y'all, three dollars. And look at my makeup. Like my under eyes, they do not crease. It gives me the perfect highlight. I just look uh bright eyed, and that's important when you're always on the go. So if you don't have that, y'all definitely invest. Huda Beauty is a really good product, but if you want to save some coins. Fit Me Maybelline Press Powder. She's also that girl. So yeah, that's a good tip. And then secondly, I wanted to tell you all about this soft matte poreless primer that I've been using by Refine. Girls. This was sent to me in a PR package really last year and I just started using it maybe like last week. I don't know why I'm using it so late. I think I just have so many other primers. When I saw this in my beauty drawer, I was like, let me give it a try because well, another thing that I'm focusing on is no pores. I don't want to see pores. I just want to see skin. Y'all, this primer by Refine. T-Zone, never oily. I never have to blot. I never have to put on any extra pressed powder or anything throughout the day. Flawless finish. I'm serious. Like, I'm so serious. I'm not sponsored by this. Well, they did send me this in PR, but <laughs> they didn't require me to post or talk about it or nothing, y'all. It's just really that girl so definitely try it if you have it i use a lot of other primers as well i know for sure when i don't want to be oily this is my go-to so yeah makeup tips of the day now i'm going to finish my makeup and do my hair because i don't know what i want to do with my hair today i did updos the last two days and now i think i want to do something down because i'm wearing a really cute two-piece skirt set so i want to look really girly so yeah all right, well, I will check back in with y'all in a little bit, but I hope you enjoyed my little makeup tips and I will give you an update throughout the day on how good my makeup is staying. Bye, sisters. We're ready. Y'all, don't we look so adorable for brunch? Ah! So today I'm wearing... Actually, y'all saw this outfit in the last vlog. Oh, golly, girl. When I went to New York. When I went, when we went to Dior, but hey, I didn't get any photos. So guess what? Your girl put her outfit back on this week, and now I'm gonna get my photos. And I kind of did the same hairstyle too, but it actually looks better this week. Eating, y'all. So I don't care if I repeat my outfit space because I look so cute, and I cannot wait to wear this outfit and get some cute pictures. If y'all remember, we did tell y'all that we were going to the Pretty Little Things showroom. I think it was last week or maybe two weeks ago. And I pulled this outfit. So, really cute. It's so really cute. cute. It's giving, like, sexy but still, like, professional and kind of mm -hmm. edgy. Mm -hmm. 
So cute. Love it. And it's very tall girl friendly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Pretty Little Thing had some really good stuff when we went last week. Yes, they did. That was tall girl friendly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And my outfit today is from Revolve. And the brand is Majorelle. This is the Amar Rosette top in ivory. And then the Amar Rosette skirt in ivory as well. Super cute. Love this set. Perfect for the springtime. And it's so girly, y'all. I love mm -hmm. the rose details. And then it also has... And then, and then it also has the rose details on the skirt. Y'all, so. I love. But they have to see it. Y'all, I absolutely love this outfit. It's so cute. And then. So girly. I'm pairing it with my semi bow heels. And my pink Alexander Wang bag. Let me get it. Now the pinks don't necessarily match. But baby, it don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. It's still super cute. Jewelry, pink Hermes bracelet with my David Yearman cable bracelet. My Tiffany's necklace that I never wear because she's always tangled. But Paris untangled it for me this morning. So I'm so happy I get to wear it. But yeah, y'all. The look. Ooh. The looks are looking today. Okay. And I'm gonna be wearing my Christian Dior saddlebag and my Tom Ford white and gold heels. I'm not gonna put them on right now, y'all, because these bad boys hurt. So I'll put them on in the car. Some jewelry, I have on my, I went to go grab it just now, but I have on my white Hermes bracelet with my Louis Vuitton bracelet right here. She's so cute. Love, love, love. Um, just regular gold hoops. Ooh, the lips are juicy. And this cute little dainty necklace that I got from Pretty the Little Thing. So yes, y'all, we are getting ready to head to brunch. And we're going to have a good time, a good old LA girl time. Because the sun is out. It is beautiful today. And I'm ready to go have brunch and a mocktail, okay? And be cute and get some content for y'all. Anyway, sisters, let's get ready to go to brunch. And we'll see y'all when we get there. House is Again, how deeply honored we are to be sponsoring this event today. And I want to reiterate that we remain committed to diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging. Thank you all, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. Come together, and in this period of time when diversity, equity, inclusion is under attack, it's more important than ever for us to come together in spaces like this. We have to make sure that we are working to fight back against the attacks on our history, on our culture, and that's what this is about, making sure that we're sharing our stories. Um, and so moving on. How you got here, and um, what issues are really driving you that you're thinking about every day today? It's all positive. Doing great, meaning that I can too be there one day. So I think the best thing that people 
the, the best thing for me was having God out of my village because there's going to be moments where you get down, where you think that was your, your booking. You think that was your role. You know you went in there and killed it. And it's like, oh, they, they went with someone else. It's like, was there anybody else? <laughs> um, so you're gonna have those moments. You're gonna have moments where ego and entitlement creep in, but it's understanding and checking that moment, right? It's knowing that like, now there are like three or four shows where I've been in for, and I didn't get the first role that I went in for, but then it's been the block. So just having that understanding and know that this is a marathon, not a sprint. All of these people up here, they're here because they stayed in it. You know, there will be things that that try to break us. Like he said, it is hard. We black. You know what I'm saying? They don't they don't send you an audition notice and say we want anybody except a black person. You don't find that out until you don't get it. <laughs> you know, when things don't happen and we know that we're good people and we did it the right way, we take it to heart. I, I've taken a lot of things in the industry to heart, and it's just. It's, it's, it just is what it is, you know? I'm one in a million, you know? But I definitely would tell her, it's gonna happen. As long as you keep doing what you just do what you do. Don't worry about what nobody else, don't look to the side, to the left. You know, you do what you do and what God has called you to do. And don't judge your success based on somebody else's highlights. Because that's all we see a lot of the time, the highlights, but we I don't see I get you home by a decent time. Wait. Your bed, you can sleep in mine. Yeah, let's make it happen, girl. I need some time. Speaking of time, who stopped it? That's the feeling that I get when we lock lips. I got the weed at the crib and the liquor too. I feel your soul, I release in your spirit. Hi, sister. I'm gonna get up there. Period. NAACP, we killed it this weekend. Welcome to the life. Okay, we killed it. Okay, and welcome to the vlog. back from brunch mm -hmm. <laughs> y'all this has been a very eventful very very eventful inspiring inspiring very inspiring mm -hmm. weekend we just want to give a shout out to NAACP for having us and hosting us all weekend we had a great time really great time a really good time we don't have time for a recap but just they don't know, need a recap right y'all saw, saw everything <laughs> right you're right um but to recap, we did go to the award ceremony and it was just a really, really good experience. So and then today, backdoor with the young, gifted, and black branch. And it was a lot of young, gifted, and black people in the building, okay? Yes, yes. yes they were dropping gems mm -hmm. all over the room. It was amazing. I, I really enjoyed it, y'all. Me too. <laughs> now, um, honestly, we have a lot of content that we're going to work on and catch up on. We need It's Sunday, so we like to just recap our week and then talk about what we have going on for the following week so that's what we're getting ready to do also y'all know my sister cooked for me sisters we will tell her up in the comments if she didn't feed me again today okay so y'all so. know first off y'all we didn't eat at brunch because y'all know one thing about black people 
we gonna eat. So when we got to the brunch, the food was gone. Everything was gone. And it looked good though. It was really mm -hmm. good brunch food. Coffee bar, brunch food, open bar. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was really nice. But um, yeah, all of that was gone by the time we got there. We didn't even get there that late. No, we didn't, no. Yeah, but you know, black people, when they show up on time, when it's free food and free drinks, oh, it's gone. Yeah. So we missed the, the food, but um, so you know, we told y'all our little tea yesterday that we love making our own Chick-fil-A. So today is Sunday and uh, yeah, we made a Chick-fil-A salad. Yes. So <laughs> it's actually sitting right here in front of us. I know y'all was like, what did she just put in her mouth? But yeah, I'm eating, <laughs> I'm eating the salad. So we are going to go ahead and eat our little lunch. And then later on this evening, it's Rolling Loud weekend in LA. So we may or may not go to Rolling Loud tonight. If we do go, we might bring y'all with us. If not, we're just going to close this vlog out right now. And we'll just see y'all next week. Like, yeah, so I'm going to show y'all what we just made, y'all. Because look, we're putting y'all on. We want y'all to eat Chick-fil-A in the comfort of y'all own home. Hello. Okay. That's my little squirrel thing. I don't know why this is so funny to me. Like, it's, it's cute, but it's so funny, y'all. At the event, at the brunch, this this boy comes up to me. He's like, um, it's giving Dorothy Dandridge. I'm mm -hmm. like, you know what? I didn't even think of it that way, but you're right. Hello. <laughs> that was so funny to me, but I don't know why. It's just like, ooh, like a little personality or something. Even alfalfa. Ooh. Okay, y'all. I know y'all see what's going on. We have our Chick-fil-A nuggets over here that we're going to put into our salad. We have a little strawberries right here. I don't think they do this at Chick-fil-A, but, you know, we add our own little twist into it. We have our cut tomatoes right here. Then right here we have our... We have our boiled egg. We have a little shredded cheese. Then over here we have some cut red onions, some chopped red onions. I don't think they do that at Chick-fil-A either, but, y'all, it's so good. Trust me when I say a little chopped red onion. And then we have our lettuce over here. This is a combination of spinach and romaine lettuce, y'all. So this salad is about to eat down. Oh, and my favorite part, y'all, the, the best part of the Chick-fil-A salad is the Chick-fil-A dressing. Okay, first off, your girl's gonna have to get sponsored by Chick-fil-A, okay? But y'all, this one is my favorite one, the zesty apple cider vinaigrette uh, salad dressing. So this is the one that I get when I go to Chick-fil-A eats down every time my favorite one i do not deviate too much from this one because i love this one. i'm not gonna lie y'all that was cool and everything but <laughs> this one avocado lime ranch that's sydney's favorite one y'all and this is my favorite one like we know each other's chick-fil-a orders down to the t <laughs> it's so funny but yeah so whenever we have our chick-fil-a salads i have to get my favorite dressing and she has to get her favorite dressing yeah so, so that is why we have separate dressings <laughs> And that's also why we uh, make like a charcuterie board type of style instead yes. of mixing everything into a bowl because our dressings are different and our toppings can also be different. Like I don't want yeah. strawberries in my salad today. Yes, and I want <laughs> extra eggs in my salad. So and Sydney, you might not eat onions. You want to eat onions in your salad? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, it gives it a little. It's really All good. Alrighty, sisters. I hope y'all enjoyed this week's episode. It was NAACP weekend, like we keep saying, but it was amazing. We enjoyed it. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And we will see y'all next week. I don't know what we have planned for next week's episode, but stay tuned. Yes, sisters. So we'll see y'all in next week's episode. Bye. Love you guys. Love y'all.